Hi guys, today we are going to see how to make a live video as a desktop wallpaper using python. So first of all, this is the video I am going to set as desktop wallpaper. In order to make it as a wallpaper, you need to install a module called OpenCV first. So I am going to install pip install OpenCV iPhone Python. I have already installed the module before, so that's why it's saying all requirement already already satisfied. Now I am going to open up the VS Code. Before we go on to writing a code. I'm going to get the every frame in this video and save it in a folder. So I'm going to create a folder called images and then I'm going to save every frame in this video to this folder. So I'm going to import a module that we have installed cv2 and then then going to capture the video using cv2. Here we need to give the path. Just right click on that and click the properties. You can get the path. As well as you need to give the name as well. That is a MP4 format video. Give it as a raw string and then I'm going to create a variable called boolean image. I'm going to read the video. Now this is going to read the video and give the first frame in this image and then return whether it's true or not depending on whether it was successful or not. And then I'm going to create a count variable 0 while boolean I'm going to create a image path here so this is where we need to give the image path, path of this image so now what we are going to do is we are going to save the image that we have got And then give here the file name here it going to be the file name and then the image we have got in this variable it going to create the image with the count as name and then we are going to and then we are going to write the boolean demo image again And then we are going to do a video dot read. And then we are going to increase the count. So let me explain what this code doing is. Here is we are going to capture the video here, and then we are reading the video here. It's going to return the first frame and the operation whether it was successful or not it will return true if it is successful and it and it returns false if it if it was not successful and then we are creating a count variable so we are writing while loop here and then giving boolean as a condition so when the boolean is true it's going to loop on if when the boolean is false it's gonna stop so here i am creating the image path with the counters name and then we are writing the image first when it starts running the code it going to create this path with 0.jpg and then gonna write this image we got here 
and then it's going to go to this here and then it will continue continue till the image till it reads the video fully and gets the all the frames and then finally it returns false so that this condition will become false and then while loop stops so let me run the code and then see so let us If we go to that folder, the frames from the video are saving in this folder. So, as you can see, we got all the frames from this video into this folder. Now, what I'm going to do is let's delete this code and then import C types and then import OS module and then I'm going to create a variable called images count It's gonna return the list of all the image names. It's gonna return the list of all the image names, and then we are getting the length of that list so that we can find how many images are there in this folder. And then I'm going to write a variable called. count and giving it zero and then I'm going to create a while loop if count greater than or equal to images then the count variable should be zero else and then I'm going to write C types dot bin dll dot user thirty two dot system parameter info w and then we are going to give twenty here zero here and then we we need to give the path of the image here. We are going to give the count here. And then we give three here. What what this is going to do is it gonna set the given image as wallpaper and then increase the count variable. If I run the code now, we should see the live wallpaper in the desktop. That's it guys, that is what I want to show you. Uh, you can edit the code to make however you want it to be. Thank you for watching my video guys.